Hey, hello guys, welcome back. So in this video session, I am going to discuss about how we can use the parameters in the pipelines. So in Azure pipelines, we have defined some parameters and how we can utilize in our pipelines. So for that, we first, what we need to do, we need to set some runtime parameters at the beginning of the EML pipelines. If you don't know how to set the runtime parameters, you can watch the previous video session. And once you define the runtime parameters, then you set the trigger is set to none and so that we can select the value of the image when manually trigger pipelines to run. Now you can see this example, the parameter is defined and the trigger is none, okay? Now under these stages, we want to utilize this one. So how we can utilize this one? We define some stages, hyphen stage A, then we have some jobs. This is called the build job and in the build job we have the pull and the pull vm image is that one so that is the template expressions at the runtime so this is the template expressions we need to provide these are the steps when the pipeline runs we select the pull image if we do not make a selection the default option will get used okay now Let's understand this one through the example. So we have already defined some parameters as part of the previous video. And these are the two operating systems we have defined. Now we've defined some stages to utilize this one. So for that, what I'm going to do, I am going to define some stages. Under that, I have one stage A. This is called the build stage. And under that, I'm going to define some under this stage, I'm going to define the jobs. So the job one A is the build job. And in that job, what we can do, we want to select the pull images. So for that to run that job, we need a pull. So under the jobs, we will define some pull choices is there, okay. Under the pull, we have the VM image colon. Now we have the VM image pull under that VM image. Now we want to provide the template expressions for that. So dollar, first you need to provide the dollar and the curly braces and one more curly braces you can define. Now you can pass the parameters and parameters dot what is the name of the parameter is the image image and this is what we have done so this vm image we have done now now this is the vm image so what we have done till now we have there's some jobs under the job, we have the build job and for to run this job, we have the one pool and the VM image for this is the parameter settings. So this will come through the parameters and this will provide the choice for us. Now we have some steps to run. Okay, As you can see in our examples, we have the steps. So what I'm going to do, we have some steps to define so the steps one is that what we need to define hyphen script so if under the steps we have some script okay so we have defined the steps here under the job and we have the one more script now we want to print so what we can do echo building and dollar build number with parameter image so how we can do that 
now echo it's the building is the predefined variable okay now you select the dollar in that i'm going to select the bracket and uh, in that i have the build dot you can see on the examples echo building and this is the macro syntax build dot build number build number here we need to provide the template expressions so what you can do you can copy this template expression as it is and you can save it okay now you just save this pipeline and now we will run the pipeline so let's understand what we have done till now we define some variables okay <coughs> So we have defined some parameters where we put the trigger as a none. We don't want the automatic trigger. Now we want to use these parameters in our pipeline. So we have defined some stages. This is the build stage. Now we have one job. This is the build job. So for that, I want to do the selection of the pool at the runtime. So that I have done through the parameters. And now these are the script that I'm going to run. So now let's run. So a make latest not a valid value. Okay. So what we can do, let me select the Ubuntu latest. And now you have the pull images, the two options so on which one you want to run. So this will come from here. So you want to run on the Ubuntu latest. Now this job is triggered and the image which select is the Ubuntu latest. So now we'll let's see the command prompt output so the building this is the build number with ubuntu latest okay so building is the string is the user defined string with is the user defined string and build dot build number was the predefined variables and this is printing the message so your build is building with the ubuntu latest Okay, so like that we can uh, define the parameters and we can use that parameters. Now let's understand the parameter data types. So there are many data types in the available for the parameters. So we just choose the one parameters that is called the string. So we select the operating system names. These are in the string format. So like that you can provide the number, boolean, object, step, step list jobs job list deployment stages and stage list so you can select the stages and the jobs at the runtime on which stage and job you want to run so these are in the small letters will start okay so these are the parameter data types and here you can understand through the parameters hyphen name my string type is the string so when you put the type is the string a string Multi string type is the string values is the default and the Ubuntu and hyphen name my number so you can provide the values like that and this is the boolean value name and it will all the values will come under the value section so default is this and things are the one two three so values like that you can define so these are the parameter data types.